me 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 so I decided to come out into the park again because a lot of you said that you like the background the birds chirping etc so who am I to disappoint I don't want to disappoint you so stay tuned all right family thanks for coming back so I have eight tips on why she fell in love with you yes my brother why she fell in love with you maybe you were thinking about why she decided to fall in love with you yes you that very knucklehead yes you that person that just gets on our nerves yes you sometimes you're not even reliable why did she fall in love with you so I'm gonna give you eight tips on why she fell in love with you at, at the very least these are some of the things obviously there are multiple other things out there okay Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with these eight lovely things. All right, bro, the very first one is that you decided to open up emotionally and she really enjoys the fact that you can be vulnerable and, and open up and share all of the things that scare you, all of the things that you're fearful of, all of the things that you're not so great at hiding behind. You just like to absolutely open up to her, give your all to her, and just be able to just let down that mask and take it off and peel it off and just say, you know what, this is who I am. You love me and all of me. Or nothing at all and she loves that about you so this is one of the reasons why she absolutely fell in love with you bro the second thing is that you made her feel very special in some way because what you do for one woman doesn't make the next woman feel special so there are some things that you decided to do specific to her that she said you know what yeah yeah, things are starting to add up with this one. Things are starting to move in the right direction. They've been going in the right direction. And and I'm I'm loving him more and more each day. He makes me feel special. And she really, really adores that about you. The third thing is that you never stop trying to get her. It doesn't even matter to you that she put you in the friend zone for months even years you decided to keep the chase going and you finally got her but once you got her you did not stop dating her you did not stop chasing her you did not stop making her yours you kept running after her you kept chasing after her and you, again you made her feel special in some type of way but you never stopping giving up on her and never stop trying to get her it's another is, is another reason why she is absolutely in love with you so those of you brothers out there who are not still chasing your girl because you got her and things are now mundane and y'all in y'all routine, y'all need to tighten up. Y'all need to tighten that up. Yeah. Because as soon as you get comfortable, somebody's sliding right on in. It's unfortunate, but it happens every day. It happens every day. So y'all need to tighten that up. If you want to keep this one, you have to figure out a way to keep her in love with you and only you. So whenever any other dude comes by, she ain't got no time for him. She ain't even listening to nothing that they have to say because you is who she's thinking about. Because she because she fell in love with you. You did it for her and she don't need nobody else to do it for her no more. The fourth reason is that you're just always there for her. She really loves the fact that you're always there for her no matter what time of day it is, no matter what the situation is, you are absolutely always there for her. And she can depend on you. It's great. Great to have somebody that you can depend on. Number five, when you are with your partners, <laughs> yeah, she know that you are still talking about her, but you do not succumb to their views about relationships or about even her because some people could be haters. So you are still building her up even when she is not around. And maybe every so often you bring up something, but because of what you're saying that you actually spoke about her and said about her, she is like, yeah, yeah. Because who doesn't want somebody to, to talk up for them, to speak up for them, to make them feel like, you know what, it don't matter what you say. <laughs> I mean, you might be lightweight jealous that you don't have somebody to brag about like I'm bragging about my boo. We love that. Keep that up. Keep that up. Do not succumb to what your friends are thinking about relationships or about your specific special someone. The sixth reason is that you just always make time for her. 
again you're very dependable you're always there you always make time for her no matter what if it's an emergency if it's a non-emergency you are just there and she is in love with you just because of that because she doesn't have to worry about if i call him he is not going to answer he's not going to um, text back he's just not going to ever respond she doesn't have to worry about that with you and i'm not saying that you're going to always be there every single moment but she knows that if you see her miss call you are calling back if you see her miss text you are calling back if you miss her dm or email or whatever it is you gonna make sure that she knows that you know what boo sorry that i missed you but what's going on you are there for her you make time for her any and every time that she absolutely needs it number seven Number seven is that you are just very thoughtful. You're very thoughtful. You don't wait until the holidays come around and then all of a sudden now you want to shower her with gifts. You are thinking about her day in and day out and maybe she mentioned something that you happened to pass in the store. Let's say, for instance, she needed new pillows or she wanted... Um, some new nail polish or whatever it is you happen to be passing by the store and you see this particular thing you just want to surprise her with this particular thing because she said that she wanted it or she actually absolutely needed it and you just wanted to supply that need for her or that want for her so you're very thoughtful you don't wait again you do not wait specifically until the holidays come around and then you're joining in with the masses now i'm not saying that you can't join in with the masses what i am saying is that you're not only waiting for those days to come around and if you decide to participate on those days then that's fine but even if you decide not to participate on those days she does not feel less than because you did not shower her with gifts this particular day she knows that you love her she knows that you absolutely Absolutely think about her because again you're the thoughtful guy that she has fallen in love with and number eight finally we are here at the eighth tip I actually wrote this down because I took this from Simon Sinek Simon Sinek is specifically talking about why she fell in love with you which is why I thought that this was so poignant to put in here so number eight he says that why she fell in love with you is because it's all about consistency it's an accum accumulation of the small things. And one day she woke up and just said, I love him. And that is so true. It is absolutely always about the small things. It's never about the grandiose things that you think that you have to do in order to keep her, in order to hold her attention. Please get that through your minds, fellas who are out there listening to this, who always feel that they have to put on these, put out these grand gestures in order to keep the woman. It's not about the grand gestures. I'm not saying that you can't do them, but consistently every single day is how you show up with the person. That is how she's going to fall in love with you. Not every once in a while, very sporadic. You go on all on these grand vacations or just grand dates. That's not how she's going to fall in love with you. It's the everyday mundane things and you being consistent with your time, energy, and effort in her. You making sure that she's a priority. You being there for her. You being the shoulder to cry on. It's absolutely about the small things. I agree with him 100%. Again, Simon has wrote several books and he definitely has a YouTube page and he has his own company. He has done a lot in this area. He's actually a motivational speaker for um, um, large companies. And so anyway, absolutely look him up. He definitely has tons to say, but specifically to why she fell in love with you. This was on point a thousand percent. All right, family, thank you so much for coming out in the park with me again today. And um, I hope that you love these eight tips on why she fell in love with you. Of course, you know that I'm going to do a counter video on why he fell in love with her. That'll be out in a few days. But I definitely wanted to come here and tell you why she fell in love with you today. I will see you again tomorrow. Deuces.